This is Witchbase News for Friday the 29th of April 2022 ...I'm Commander Burr. In Elite Dangerous News this week ...as Salvation preps his super weapon the Thargoids burn the bubble Lavecon 2022 tickets are going on sale Frontier announced plans to break their silence on the future of Elite Dangerous Console account transfers are being discussed on the next livestream and more. To make sure you don't miss any of our videos hit like and subscribe and remember to click the little bell icon and select all notifications and if you'd like to help directly support this channel you can also join our Patreon via the link in the video description. The postponed community goals originally planned for last week kicked off finally with this weeks Thargs Day tick as did offensive actions from the hyperdicting hydrangeas themselves. The unwanted pause in hostilities last week saw three systems in the bubble ...one just 70 light years from Earth ...invaded by the green meanies but no stations were attacked as a result of the invasion. The tick this week allowed things to proceed as planned however and we now have burning stations in DDO and So Song with commanders able to participate in the evacuation to the nearby rescue megaship. The text of the community goals of which there are 4 ...one hauling and 3 anti xeno combat ...specifically mentions that the would be maniac messiah salvation is prepping 3 of his super weapons to be deployed to the affected regions. So that's reassuring isn't it? Earlier in the week the official Azimuth Saga story so far thread on the forums was updated by Frontier to fill in the blanks right up to the very latest happenings. The plotline has been running since October of 2020 ...it's coming we think to a head. We also think there will likely be significant consequences to its resolution. So if you're not already genned up on it ...now is your chance. The Stellar Photography, Videography and Fan Art Group ...more commonly referred to as the SPVFA or Spiver ...announced this week that they are taking a corner of the Pilots Lounge Discord server and making it their own ...their very own. Up until today Spiver has exclusively been a Facebook entity but by expanding their presence the group hopes to be able to enable their community to engage in a more immediate and meaningful way while still sharing their works and participating in the regular themed competition that the group runs. To join there's a link in the video description below and if you choose just the Spiver role when joining the server you will see just the Spiver channels with the option being there for you to access the wider Discord community only if you choose to do so. HWS Events the organisers of the Lavecon Elite Dangerous convention announced this week that tickets for this years gathering which is being held at the Kent's Hill Hotel in Milton Keynes from the 15th to the 17th of July will be going on sale next Wednesday the 4th of May. If you have a booking already from last years pandemic cancelled event you should have received an email from HWS already giving you some options and if you want to book tickets for this years event I've linked to their website in the description below this video. If you're going Rini and I will see you there. In a surprise move yesterday morning Frontiers community team announced that the regular Thursday Frameshift Live livestream had been cancelled. The unusually abrupt message also stated that when livestreams were returning they would let the community know. The Thursday livestreams are these days largely very well attended ...that is undoubtedly due in no small part to the Twitch drop system that grants free paint jobs and other in game cosmetic items. But it's become wildly apparent since the streams return after their absence at the start of the year that Frontier have returned to their pre-Odyssey launch policy of continually saying largely nothing of consequence ...much to the frustration of the assembled community. Whilst the team on the livestreams are clearly doing their utmost to engage the community audience ...the all too apparent lack of any well anything from Frontier about their plans or development progress for the game only serves to fuel community anxiety about whether the game actually has a future. 
in the ongoing online conversation in the community about Elite Dangerous and what this most important of years means Frontier continually turns up to the conversation but quite literally says nothing. A live service game like Elite Dangerous requires new content and patches dripped into it on a relatively constant cycle in order to keep the game fresh and the customers constantly engaged. And for the gaps in between content drops there needs to be a flow of information from the publishers to highlight what's coming next whether it be new content or patches and updates. When that happens the consumer can remain confident that their favourite game still is with them and that they'll be playing it in the next 6-12 to 12 months. If that's the case then they're more likely to spend time and money in the game seeing it as an investment well made. When that information from the publisher is absent however and the consumers constant questioning remains largely unanswered then doubt about the future especially after the year we've all just been through inevitably creeps in. Because of Frontiers continued refusal to communicate anything in the last 6 months except what they can't do the YouTube comments and forum posts from the community crying doom and saying the game has just weeks to live become the only voices that appear to have any proof that what they are saying is in fact the truth. Without anything solid from Frontier to counter that argument it easily encourages that perspective and adds weight to what you're being told is in fact a fact. Frontier are not guiding or contributing to the narrative that defines how their game is perceived by its customer base online and if they're not guiding that narrative then it's open to anyone else to guide it for them with whatever they feel is accurate and at that point someone else owns the communication with Frontiers customer about Frontiers product and Frontier have lost any power in that conversation. With the cancellation of the livestream this week and the implication that we were again to see a period of protracted silence from the company the anxiety levels in the wider community hit a new high. Here at the pit we received multiple private messages and tweets from concerned commanders genuinely worried that their game was finally going away. It seems this afternoon however that there has been at least a hint of a turnaround from the Cambridge developers. As we were about to publish this very video Frontier tweeted that not only would the livestream be back next week but importantly they will be discussing their focus for the year ahead as well as the sticky issue of console account transfers. Of course what they'll specifically be saying we don't yet know but the fact that the much derided and largely irrelevant livestream was cancelled but then announced not only as restarting and returning with at least a hint of the information that everyone has been crying out for at least gives us some hope that perhaps the impassioned cries from the community have finally been heard. Whatever the case this time next week we'll have the answer. The Elite Dangerous Frame Shift Live livestream for next week has been shifted to Wednesday we believe for one week only and if and when we hear any more we will of course let you know right here. Are you jumping into the community goal to fight the Thargoids? What would you like to see discussed on the livestream on Wednesday and will you now be watching? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then ….o7 CMDRs follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time.